Welcome geometry students to class today on Tuesday the 15th, Tuesday the 15th. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're having a good week so far. And uh, Jason, I did get your note, so thanks for uh, letting me know what happened. I was actually wondering who had won that game, so thanks for letting me know. I appreciate that. I love watching good volleyball, and you all did a good job. Um, and then I also actually, for once in my life, was on top of things, and I did... I did know that you have the regional tournament this coming Thursday and Friday and then the state tournament next Thursday and Friday. Um, I would like you to take the test when you get back, not not before, because we're going to be covering some math uh, yesterday, today, tomorrow. I want you to have time to do the review sheet. I know I won't have the test ready before Friday, so just take that when you get back and I will... Uh, give you plenty of time to do that, okay? And I hope you guys play really well and do really well on that on that tournament. Okay, here's some quick announcements. Um, there will be a test this Friday, as I was just saying. So there will be a review sheet this Thursday. Uh, make sure you're ready for that. We Hopefully you worked hard yesterday. Let's work hard today. Let's work hard tomorrow. And then Thursday, there will be no new material. Thursday will be a review sheet only. Now, you need to turn in last night's homework. Martin, I believe you were absent yesterday, so you might not have the homework done. Um, but you can, of course, watch the video online still from class yesterday. That would be Geometry 4.5. And you can still do the homework, which would be Geometry 4.5. And then, of course, the word homework. Uh, Jake, uh, the two young ladies turned theirs in early. You did not, which is fine, but you owe me homework from last night. So please turn that in now at this time. Please don't forget to do that. Um, everyone is caught up on their math requirements, so good job. If you want to know what grade uh, you made in, in this class, whatever grade is on Sycamore is now your final grade. I mean, it's totally and completely done. So... If you have any questions, I would go and check. I would look for any grades I've typed in incorrectly, which could happen to any teacher. Look for, a, you know, whatever. Make sure your grades are accurate, but they are finished. So whatever grade Sycamore has for you is the grade you will have on your report card coming out here uh, shortly. All right, grabbing a quick drink of water there, and let's go ahead and get started, guys. Here we go. Please work really hard today, and please listen, and please take some good notes. Well, welcome to another nine weeks. You are one-fourth of a school year closer to graduation. How exciting. By the way, my daughter is the same age as you seniors. She's graduating this year also. So it's a sad but also exciting time. How exciting. I'm proud of how hard you guys have worked but you can't let up at all. Please don't stop working. Men, ladies, it's very, very important you continue to work. We're going to be looking today at a special addition to a triangle called the median. We will also be looking at one theorem that is about the median of a triangle. And we're going to apply this theorem this theorem, that's a new word, huh? This theorem to some problems. Go ahead and copy this in your notes if you would, please. Medians of a triangle, lesson 4.6. Medians of a triangle, lesson 4.6. I encourage you to write the date down. Uh, the date today is the 15th. The 15th, so go ahead and write that down. Medians of a triangle, lesson 4.6, is the 15th. I'm going to go pretty fast now, so you'll need to pause the video at different times and uh, get, caught up on, get caught up on notes. Okay, let's start off with looking at the definition of a median of a triangle. All right, here we go. Definition of a median of a triangle. What is a median of a triangle? It is, write this down, please. You're responsible to know this for your test coming up. It is a segment from a vertex, drawn from a vertex, to the midpoint of the opposite side. Let me say that again. The median of a triangle is a segment that is drawn from the vertex of the triangle to the midpoint of the opposite side. Now, what's a vertex? Well, when you have a triangle, that's a vertex, that's a vertex, and that's a vertex. 
So a median is a segment that's drawn from the vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. I would like to demonstrate this for you, okay? Go ahead and draw a triangle in your notes that looks somewhat like this, okay? Somewhat like this. Now let's go ahead and draw all three medians. Are you ready? Let's draw all three. So I'm going to put a point here on the vertex, okay? And then I'm going to try to split this side in half, uh, about right there. And I'm going to draw that line, okay? So here we go. From here to there. All right, there we go. That is a median of the triangle. How do you know that, Mr. Earhart? Oh, my, it's so obvious how I know. Is it not going from the vertex to the midpoint over here? And by the way, that means this segment here is congruent to this segment here because this is the midpoint. It's right in the middle. Let's draw another median. Go ahead and draw another one, would you please? Here's our vertex. Put a point here. And then let's try to find the midpoint of this side over here. It looks like it's about right there. It looks pretty decent. So I'm going to go ahead and draw this median. And at least I was going to. Let me try that again. All right, there we go. So that is definitely a median. Notice it goes from the vertex of a triangle across in such a way that it hits this side right over here, right smack dab in the middle. So what we do know is this segment here is congruent to this segment here. Okay, and now let's draw our last median. Every triangle has three medians. So let's go ahead and put a point here and then come way across the triangle, put a point there. And that did not come across as well as I wanted it to. And that's not much better, but anyways, you get the idea. So this is a median. somewhat, and it's drawn from, now listen, from the vertex to this point over here, all right? Now, notice when it's done correctly, which mine isn't perfect, do you, well, for, let me stop, do you, do you see how to draw a median now? It runs from the vertex across the triangle in such a way that this angle here, or this segment here is congruent with this segment here. This segment here is congruent with this segment here, and this segment here is congruent to that segment there. I hope that makes sense. Now, that's how you draw medians. Now, let me go ahead and take this a step further. Take your pencil, and hopefully you've been taking really good notes, and I want you to make note of where all three of those medians intersect. If you do it correctly, all three medians will intersect at one point, okay? Now, if all three at one point, like this, we have a special, well, not if, when all three medians intersect at one point, we have a special name for that point, okay? Now, take some good notes on this, watch. So, so far, we've, so far we've learned what a median is, we've learned how to draw it, you go from the vertex straight across to the opposite side in such a well that it hits right in the middle, of that opposite side. And now I've, now I'm teaching you that when you draw your three medians correctly, all three will hit in one point. And that point has a name. Write this down. That point on the last page where all three medians intersected has a name. It is called the it is called the centroid. The centroid. And here's a definition. Write this down. The centroid is the point where all three medians of a triangle intersect. Centroid is the point where all three medians of a triangle intersect. It's where all three medians um, of a triangle intersect. All right. Now, again, if I go too fast, just pause the video. I'm going to continue to move on. The term centroid that we just learned about right here leads us to a theorem, okay, which I know you just love to hear. And here's that theorem. Theorem 4.9, the medians of a triangle intersect at the centroid, a point that is two-thirds of the distance from the vertex to the midpoint of the opposite sides. 
Now, I'm going to put this in English for you in just a second, but let me read this again. The medians of theorem 4.9 states, the medians of a triangle intersect at the centroid, and the centroid is a point that is two-thirds of the distance from each vertex to the midpoint of the opposite sides. Allow me to demonstrate, please. Okay, here we go. Let me get this right here and copy this real quick. There we go. And let's make that one group together. And let's come back here. And let's see if we can't slide this around. All right. Now, would you please listen to me, students? I need your undivided attention on what I'm about ready to say, okay? Do you see this centroid point right here? Watch. This distance is two-thirds of this entire segment right here, this entire median, okay? And that means this segment here in green is one-third of the entire median all the way across. Do you see how that works? You start from the vertex and go to the centroid, and that's always going to be two-thirds of the entire distance across. All right, let's try this. Now, you're not really taking notes. Just kind of watch and see if you can figure this out, okay? I mean, you can take notes if you want to. I'm just trying to show you. Let's take a look at this median right here with the green dots, okay? Now, watch. From here to here, that would be two-thirds of this entire median going all the way across, two-thirds. Not sure what happened there. Probably don't want to know. And so then the distance from here to here is one-third the distance of this whole entire segment. One-third. All right. Let's try one more example real quick. Let's take a look at this one here. I'm going to go from the vertex right here to the centroid right here. Now this segment right here will be two-thirds of this entire segment going all the way across. And this distance from here to here is one-third. And that's what that theorem is stating. And I hope you see that, okay? I really, really, really do, guys. I hope you can see this, all right? Okay, let's continue on. Now, I want us to work on five problems, okay? Five problems really quick. Now, I know that's a lot. I'm going to probably do an overkill on this, and you're not going to like that. But I want us to do very quickly five of these problems. Each one's a little different, and then I'll let you get started on your homework today. Now, if you want to follow along in your book, uh, please turn to page 202, and E2 means example 2. So page 500, page 200, example number 2. And I'm going to go ahead and take my pen and do some marking on this picture. E is the centroid of triangle ABC. So here's the centroid right there. DA is 27. Now, please watch this, students. That means this entire segment all the way across. That's, a me that's one of your medians. That median all the way across is 27. Find EA. Do you see this? Right here. Find EA. So here's EA right here. Now that red line there is two thirds. I'm going to write that again a little better. This red line right here is two thirds of that entire 27. 27 goes all the way across. And then this segment here in blue is one third. Okay? Now, here's how we do this, guys. It's so easy. Just think about it. Whatever the entire length, would you please watch this? Whatever the entire length of this median is, is 27, always take it and divide it by three. Would you please do that? Because that kind of breaks it up into thirds. So if I take this length and always divide it by 3, and by the way, why would I divide it by 3? Because your denominator is a 3 and a 3, 1 third and 2 thirds. So if you'll take 27 and divide by 3, you'll get 9. That means 1 third is 9. So that means from here to here, 1 third is 9. Now here I have 2 thirds. That, mean, that means I have 2 9s, 2 thirds or 2 9s. 
um, because I have two thirds, so a third and a third, or a nine and a nine. So that means this length here is 18. Another way to say it, are you ready for this? This two thirds length right here will always be twice as big as this length over here, always. So if this length is nine, this length here is 18. If this length here is 18, this length is not nine. And the whole length altogether is 27. There we go, not too bad. Now let's take a look at another one. If you want to follow, you can do that. You can copy all this down, it's up to you. Page 208, example three. Here we go. P is the centroid, right here, of the triangle QRS. So right here, oops, did not mean to do that. Sorry about that. A little bit neater. RP, that blue line, of, or excuse me, yeah, RP is, is 10. Find the length of RT. Let's go back a page. This plus 16 is 24. Now find BE and ED, and we just did that, here it is. Here's B and here's E, so segment, sorry about that. So segment BE, right here in red, segment BE would have to be 16. And segment ED, right here, would have to be eight. Okay, so there we go. One more problem and then we'll Go ahead and get started on your homework, or is it two more? Sorry about that. Did not mean to lie. Two more. Okay. Now, we're on page 209, the top, number five. Find JG and KG if we know that JK is four. Now, please look. Here's your centroid. Here's JK right here. Do you see that? And JK is four. So, I'm going to go ahead and put a four right here. Now remember, when you have a median going all the way across like this, okay, the longer part of the median median always comes. G is the longest part right here. KG is the longest part of uh, these two segments right here. So if this is a four, then remember what I taught you. This longer segment is twice as big as the shorter segment, so this segment would be eight. So the whole segment all the way across, JG, has to be 12, 4 plus 8. All right, so we come up here. Find the length of JG and KG. So JG and KG. Well, here's JG right here all the way across, and that's obviously going to be 12. And then KG from here to here, we already figured that, and that's going to be 8. All right? 
So we're hanging in there. Here we go. One more and we're finished. All right. Now, page 209. Let me grab a quick drink. Page 209. Top. Um, what do they tell us? QN is 20. So this length right here in red is 20. Now remember, look, this is a median all the way down to N. That's a median all the way across. Now, the longer segment out of these two segments, here's the first segment and here's the second segment. Remember, the longer part will always come out of the vertex. So QN is the long part of a median twice as big as a smaller part. So if this is 20, that means PQ has to be a... All right. So with that in mind, let's answer the questions now. Find PQ and PN. So PQ equals blank. PN equals blank. Okay. PQ. Here's P. Here's Q. Looks like we already found it. PQ has a length of 10. Now let's find PN. From P all the way down to N, that would be the um, the entire median, the entire median. This much is 10, this much is 20, so the entire median has to be 30, has to be 30, okay? I hope this is making sense. I hope this helps you. Let's go ahead and get started on the homework. Please work, work, work. Um, ladies and men, it's so important that you work hard. Page 209, numbers 4 through 16. Page 209, numbers 4 through 16. Go ahead and get started now. Call or email if you have any questions. And there is a homework help video to help you if you need some help on this material.